right, David Hong with Nerd Reactor here, and we are with Max Brooks. Max Brooks, tell us a little bit about yourself for those who don't know who you are. Okay, uh, well basically I was on a show called Different Strokes. I played a man named Mr. Drummond, uh, and that show ran in the, in the early 80s. Uh, it was very important to me. So then I, I went and I got behind the camera. I started developing shows, and I developed a show called What's Happening. That was very important to me. Uh, we liked What's Happening, but then we developed a new show called Buck Rogers with Gil Gerard, who is a great guy. Uh, so that's pretty much been my, my thing, and that's, that's why we're here. We're bringing it back. We're bringing back Buck Rogers. Seriously, though, we are here to talk about his uh, new projects coming up here. We got The Extinction Parade and Shadow Walk. All right, so uh, before this interview, he gave me a little rundown. Um, <laughs> You're not to admit that. You're supposed to okay, so. Did your so, uh, <laughs> okay, I'll cut that out. Let's start again. Here we go. All right, we're here with Max Brooks, and we're here to talk about the Extinction Parade. And for those who don't know, the Extinction Parade is a new uh, graphic novel coming out um, about vampires during a zombie outbreak. It's a new co limited comic book series. Let's start. That's not a graphic novel. No, a graphic. You don't. All right, I'm gonna let Max Brooks do the talking. No, no, here we go. We're here with Max Brooks. Uh, gonna talk a little about his uh, new projects coming up. We got a uh, Shadow Walk and. Uh, the Extinction Parade. Um, Max, give us a little information about this, uh, these two projects. Uh, well, Shadow Walk is actually uh, something I consulted on, and I did a little world building for Legendary Pictures and, uh, and now Legendary Comics. Uh, Shadow Walk, the premise is that what if the Valley of Death from the Bible uh, was a real place? What would be the history behind it? What would be the politics behind it? If, where would it be? Why would it exist? Uh, and it's about a special forces team that actually has to go into the real valley of death. <laughs> okay. So it's like a mixture of uh, science fiction and like religion, something science like that? Fiction, science, theology. Uh, I mean, these are all the things that Thomas Tull, who's the CEO of Legendary, really enjoys. So a few years ago, he called me in his office and we started talking about what would be this premise if the valley of death was a real place. Then I went away and did my treatment, my summary of what the story might be, and more so the background of the valley. And then we turned it over to a man named Mark Wade, who's the writer, who deserves the lion's share of the credit. He's the guy who did the heavy lifting. So if you like Shadow Walk, talk to Mark Wade. Um, people who are going to read Shadow Walk, what should they expect? Um, lots of uh, action, gritty, you know, blood, gore, or just lots of just talking? How, no, I think, explain. I, think, I think you're going to expect a good mother-daughter story that sort of goes into the into their lives like and, and yeah. sort of, no, 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 I think it's going to be more sort of like Crimes of the Heart or, um, you know, maybe Steel Magnolias, sort of, it's going to be about like four women and they're all sort of... Uh, talking about their periods. Yeah, no, 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 they're all being together and, and they're talking about sort of their marriages that aren't working out well and their children, how maybe they got married too young and, and how a mother's losing her looks and is, is trying to in a way sabotage her daughter. Um, so that's really where we're going Style. for. Would it be PG-13? Is it all ages? What's going on here? Um, I don't know if it'd be... Well, the thing is, I don't really know what's appropriate anymore. I mean, I, I literally... I once got asked by a mom if World War Z was appropriate for her son, who's 13, and I said, I don't think so. I mean, there's horrific violence and cannibalism and nuclear war and zombies. And she goes, yeah, but is there sex? No, there's no okay. boobies. And she was like, oh, well, then that's totally fine. Okay, well, is there sex in Shadow Walk? That you'll have to wait and see. Okay, so, well, yeah. <laughs> Are there boobies in Shadow Walk? Well, we have a female character who I'm assuming was born with them. Uh, let's, let's go into a little bit about the Extinction Parade. Extinction Parade, what, uh, what yeah. do we have here? Extinction Parade is a limited comic series I started writing, and it's pretty much uh, a zombie outbreak told through the eyes of vampires. So z vampires exist in this world, and zombies well, yeah. rise. Uh, exactly. And vampires uh, right. initially uh, like it. Uh, they are initially into it because they like that human civilization is starting to break down, which means they can start killing people at random. They've been very constricted by the rise not just of technology, but the rise of a middle class. And that's very important. The, the notion of a middle class means that s the common citizen is important. You know, it's not like the 19th century where there was like five people who were important, everybody else yeah. was, you know, yeah. dead meat. Uh, but then they have, as the zombies continue to rise, as the outbreak continues to spirals out of control, they have an inconvenient truth moment where they realize, what are we going to eat? Uh, and they can't eat the zombies. 
and the zombies don't even eat them. Zombies ignore them. So the zombies present a secondary threat, not a primary threat, which makes it even worse for them because it's harder to realize how deep the threat is. It's like global warming. You know, nobody's going to die from global warming. They're going to die from the after effects of it. Okay. Well, zombies and vampires aren't vampires essentially zombies themselves because they have. A, Dude, you don't know, tell like, that to the vampires. Stuff. No, to me, the vampires are the aristocracy, and that that's sort of the philosophy of the okay. whole comic book okay. series. I, I wanted to study privilege. I wanted to study what happens when you have everything handed to you and you don't work for it and you don't struggle for it and the lack of character that struggle would have given you. Uh, you know. Humans, the reason we've created all this and this camera and all this technology is because we were born in the middle of the food chain. Sure. And we did all this so we wouldn't get eaten by a saber-toothed exactly. cat. But if you started your species at the top of the food chain, you would have an arrogance and a hubris and you wouldn't have to develop new skills that might come in handy later. Uh, if civilization broke down, I think you'd be the man to hang out with uh, to uh, survive. Oh. I feel like you've done your research with uh, the survival guide and now you, you know, you just know how they think, you know how people think, you know how animals think, so... Well, I mean, I live in L.A., which is always sort of on the edge of the apocalypse. Um, there's always earthquakes, fires, floods, LAPD pulling over a black guy and beating him with an inch of his life and starting a riot and then running when the riot actually starts. Thanks, guys. Uh, so I've lived through that. So I do have a visceral sense of what happens when the system breaks down. That's good. We know who to go to when the end of the world comes. Well, don't come to me. I didn't say I could actually survive. I just said I know what would happen. Movie deals. Do you see possible movie deals coming out of this? There has been interest in Extinction Parade already. We are talking to someone, which I can't really talk about until the deal is actually signed. Is it yeah. Brad Pitt? <laughs> no, it's not Brad Pitt. Uh, not, that looks like uh, Brad Pitt right there. I think that looks like any white male Gentile. Like, that could be you. That could be you. Look. It's an alpha male Caucasian. Da -na -na -na. Uh, after parties, you can be hitting up any of those oh, after God, parties? No, I mean, no. If, oh, I'm not trying to get laid, I'm married. So? Exactly. So when you get, look, uh, clearly you're not married. So clearly you still need to hunt and gather. <laughs> Let me tell you something, young man. <laughs> when you put the ring that rules them all on your finger, you'll be surprised at how much of your life you don't need to live anymore. You don't need to go out. You don't need to just explore the universe. You're home. And then when you have a kid. You have kids? I have one. One? Boy, girl? <laughs> ah, boy. Congratulations. Oh, young man. When you have a child, your life it's game is over. over. It's a game over? The game is well and truly over. You settle down to the serious, hardcore agriculture that is wife and child. And you don't leave the farm because you can't leave the farm. Uh, so you, what you're telling me is to avoid marriage at all costs. No, I think it's, no, I think it's great. I mean, quite frankly, like when I die, I want on my grave to be Henry Brooks's dad. Uh, there's nothing... Loving father. Yeah, I mean, there's, no, there's nothing more important than being a good dad and a good husband. But it takes up your whole life. You know, see, like you, you know, you're tonight, you're going to go to a party. Probably. And you're going to slink up to some hot little anime babe. You're going to be like, hey, David Hong, how'd you like to nerd react with me? I'm going to use that. Yeah, you I'm know what? I'm going to film it and tag you. And in. that's what you're going to do because you're a single guy. You're out there. You're going to be like, how'd you like to get in my TARDIS? What I'm going to do is go back to my hotel room with a sandwich and order a movie on cable, probably like Iron Man 3, and I'm going to sleep for eight good hours. And to me, that's party time. Uh, Woo! Eight well, hours sleep. Looks like we're going to have to wrap this up. Max, it was a pleasure. I had a great time talking to you. Good time talking to you.